What's happening guys, Jet Teeley here with Thailand Insider and I'm actually gonna cook some dishes that Thai people actually eat with sriracha using Thai sriracha because that other stuff, that ain't Thai sriracha. All right team, let's get into my first dish which is going to be a crab omelet. You've seen it from Jay Fai who has a Michelin star place in Bangkok. She makes these one at a time. I'm gonna show you how to make a home version that might not be as good as hers, but you don't need to fly 21 hours to eat it. Let's do this. All right, so first thing is going to be eggs. Now, um, a Thai omelet, little history of the Thai omelet. I gotta say, I think uh, it is an underrated hero of the Thai kitchen, right? Uh, in Thailand, we would call it Kai Gio. Very important, you see a lot of chefs whisking eggs. Uh, the reason is this actually, uh, obviously you want your eggs, your whites and your yolks to be homogenized, to be one uh, situation. Once you can't tell the difference between yolks and whites, you've got a good level of uh, egg whippage there. Here's level one of omelet seasoning, would be fish sauce. Level two would be like MSG or sugar, but I'm gonna leave spare you today I would do it. If you don't have an aversion to MSG, throw a little MSG in there and a little sugar as well in my house. So, but I'm gonna go old school, okay? So eggs, fish sauce, and this is just beautiful uh, processed lump crab meat. If you wanna go through the trouble of uh, catching crab, steaming crab, and then taking the meat out, you do you. I, I'm, I'm not mad. Okay, you're gonna use a good amount of oil, but I promise all this oil will not absorb into the egg. We're gonna dump out what we don't use. Now, once my eggs are whipped, I wanna throw the crab in as close as possible to cooking. So with the crab in, I'm gonna finish this off with just a little bit of uh, cracked black pepper. So three to four eggs in about a nine inch pan is a really good way to start. And I'm gonna pour this right into the oil. Okay, first you guys think you gotta do is it's okay to break it up. You wanna create crevices so wet egg can enter those crevices. And that's how we're gonna build this omelet and have create a stable raft. Now look what's happening around the edges. It's starting to bubble. All of those amazing um, air pockets that you whipped in are starting to fill up encased in egg. In a restaurant, so this would happen a lot faster, but don't mess with it. This is looking good. I'm looking for the poofy ends. I'm looking for the liquid, I'm giving, see I'm giving the, the liquid middle a place to run into by kind of breaking up the eggs a little bit. Cause what I want to do, what I'm looking for is when this omelet is brown on one side, it should be totally coagulated or basically one piece on the top. Another thing you want to do is shake that pan in circles and that's going to make sure no eggs stick. That's also going to create those pockets so the egg to seep in more. All right, we're getting there. So what I'm gonna do when this omelet is a medium brown, because it's not a large wok, I'm gonna pour out a little oil and then I'm gonna do the flip. All right, so the edges are brown, the, the, so the middle is a medium brown, and what I can do is take a little bit of that oil out if I want. Look at that, see I'm saving you all those calories. I needed that oil for the cook, but you don't need to use it all, okay? So I'm going to make sure it's loose. I'm gonna turn and then catch it right there. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for a beautiful golden on the top. And I don't wanna cook the bottom as much as the top because this is the bottom is gonna be the crispy edge. I can continue to drain off a little oil if I want. And paper towels are your friends too. But that's it, because the top is cooked and brown, the bottom's gonna cook very quickly, so I'm not gonna let that overcook. Voila, beautiful Thai crab omelet. What do you eat this with? Sriracha, of course. Thai sriracha comes from a place called Siracha. If it's not made in Thailand, it's not real sriracha. Nothing against the other brand with the green cap, but it's not authentic. If you want a real Thai experience, you have to eat food with real Thai sriracha. So the way to eat this, in my opinion, is a warm bowl of Thai jasmine rice, um, a really nice, generous side of Thai sriracha. So there you have it, crab omelet with Thai sriracha. 